I'll see what comes up. Okay. Now, uh, can we undo, please, David? Oh, Tim first, I think. No, we, if David does it, it will cancel Tim already. No, no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Go ahead, Dave. So, Blue button. Oh, yeah, sorry. Now, <coughs> go ahead, Dave. Pass says I have less than an opening bid. Pass from Tim says I have less than an opening bid. Pass from Raymond, who's on the borderline, says I have less than an opening bid. Yeah, I have 11. You're on the border. Close. I don't know what to do. But you have to do something, Katie. Yeah, I... Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, don't do that in future, all right? <laughs> How many points does it take to open the bidding? Uh, 12 or more. How many had you? 19. So what should you have done, at least? open something okay so that's all i want you to do okay uh, it does and, and what you open after that it doesn't matter but i want you to if you have an opening bid what must you do everybody you must open what you open we'll discuss but you must open okay go ahead luckily the same style of board has come up on the second um. pa pass from david i don't have an opening bid Pass from Tim, I don't have an opening bid. Pass from Raymond, I don't have an opening bid. And let's pray to God, Katie doesn't do what she did the last time. <laughs> Excellently done, Katie. An opening bid of one club says I have 12 to 19 points, may or may not be balanced, and clubs are my longest suit. Now, what bid did Katie not open? No time. So what does that mean she doesn't have? It's less than 16 points. 12 to 14 and a balanced hand. Because if she did have 12 to 14 and a balanced hand, what would she have done? What would she have opened? No yeah, so when she doesn't open one no trump, she doesn't have a one no trump opening. Now let's see what happens now. Now, Tim, we're going to get you to undo that for us. Again, that would be, even though you only have five points, Tim, why do I want you to bid? Because do you want to play in clubs if you could avoid it? Tim? Not going to mute. You want me muted or unmuted? Well, I want you to be able to answer the question when I ask the question, so I don't mind. Okay. No, I wouldn't like to play in clubs. I've I've only so, got one. So, what might you do to try to to try to see if you can improve upon the contract? Um. I could uh, switch to hearts. So why don't you bid, 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 bid your suit? You don't like your partner's suit, so show what suit you have. And what level can you bid it at? It would be one, wouldn't it? So go ahead. Now that now change of suit in response to a one of a suit opening normally promises six or more points but the reason why tim should respond on this hand is a he doesn't have any good support for his partner and b he has a long suit of his own where he may be able to find a better spot and c he's close to the threshold for a one level response here's melissa 
Just, we a do quick, just a quick question. Yeah, no, a question is always good. Go ahead, Tim. Why is the uh, north south is fine on the uh, Zoom, but on the BBO, um, I'm east east west is north yeah. south. Well, it's not you see. On, we've spoken about this before. When you're on the Zoom, we're looking down at the four of you playing bridge, okay? On the Zoom. But when you're sitting at the card table, it always puts you at the bottom of the screen. Okay. So if you actually look, you're actually east, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. And if Katie looks at her screen, you're at the bottom of your screen, Katie, aren't you? Yeah. But who are you? West. The computer just switches everybody around and it's able to do that. Okay. But when I'm teaching and because I'm hosting the table, I'm looking, it's as if I'm a camera sitting above the table looking at the four of you. And I'm doing that because when people are watching the lesson back, we want to, so the, 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 the view, if we want to show you for a second, Tim, on the Zoom, all right. If you sit out of your seat, Melissa, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Can you join the McCormick table? Um, I just I kind of have to. I'm just going to watch for a little while because I have right. a little bit of an emergency here with the kids. Yeah, no problem. Just put your lovely stuff. You just watch away. All right. Yeah, yeah. And we'll show you. Okay. Thanks. Now, Tim, if you just uh, sorry, Katie, if you just sit out of your seat, please. So I'll show you what way the camera looks. And again, there's no harm in doing this for anybody who's watching it. I'll show you the way the camera looks to everybody. What seat am I in now, West? So can you see the Zoom screen now, Tim? Yeah. So this is the viewpoint from your partner's hand. And again, when I'm looking at the table, I see everybody else's cards. But when you're sitting at the table, you only see your own cards and the bidding that occurs from everybody else. But notice, now I'm suddenly at the bottom of the screen, am not I? Yeah. Even though I'm west. So the computer will always switch somebody to the bottom of the screen. Now I'll get out of my seat. Hop up, hop in there now, Katie. And now when I open up the hands again, now it's as if I'm looking at the top of the table, looking down at all four people playing bridge. Now, when I'm on the Zoom, the only reason I'm sharing the table on the Zoom is so that people who watch back the lesson can watch back and look at it from the fully 52 card perspective and that they can listen to the questions that you're asking, knowing that you only get to see your hand the context of your hand, all right? And that's all I'm trying to do and keep a record so that when you go back over it, and you should all be going back over these videos and watching them at least once, at least once a week and take notes and ask me what you don't understand. But like Raymond said earlier on, going back over them will show you what, I mean, there's only so much information your brain can take and by going back over them, it gives you a, re a reinforcing of the information you understand and the information you don't. So go ahead, Raymond. Now, there was a good bit of distraction. So the thing about a change of suit from you, Tim, is it demands that Katie bid again. She must bid again. Now, let's see whether she can make the right rebid based upon her hand. Now again, just do something, Katie, except pass. Yeah. But just do something. It doesn't matter what you do. What you do, I will explain if it's wrong. Sitting on the fence is the worst thing you can do in bridge. You have to make a decision. I... 
That's not a bad decision. That's actually a very, that's not a bad decision. That's where you're going to end up. But I want you to undo that for me. That's an excellent choice, by the way. I know many people, John Merkin included, who'd be very likely to make that bid. Myself as well. Okay. What sort of hand do you have, Katie? Um, I think it's unbalanced. It's balanced. Now, how do we know it's balanced, lads? Well, how do we define an unbalanced hand? Who can give me something to define an unbalanced hand? Singleton. A singleton. Tim, have you a balanced hand? Um, um, no. Because you have a singleton. Very good. Mm. David, have you a balanced hand? Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Tim, Raymond, have you a balanced hand? I've... Yeah. So if you have a singleton, Katie, or a void, what's the final thing to make the hand unbalanced? More than a single doubleton. More than a one doubleton, yeah, or a single doubleton. Yeah, perfect. So if your hand contains more than one doubleton, you're unbalanced. Now, so have you a balanced or an unbalanced hand now, Kate? Balanced. So when we have a balanced hand, what do we always do unless we find a fit? A uh, suit. Well, no, we, we start off with a suit, but what do we bid at our second opportunity? Generally. Well, what would you do if you had 12 to 14 and balanced? Uh, one no trump. So what do you do if you have more than that? You begin by doing what you did, which was open a suit. And what do you bid at your second opportunity? Do Who can help? Or... No trump. Yeah. So go ahead. Now that's interesting, everybody. If we just look at the bidding box in the middle of the table, the fact that Katie didn't open one no trump means she doesn't have 12 to 14. But what did she do at her second opportunity? Bid no trump. One no trump. Now that's important because she could have also rebid two no trump and she could have also rebid three no trump. She had a choice of what no trump to rebid. So why do we think she rebid no trump at the lowest possible level? If it's a balanced hand. And how many points does she have? That, that 19 or less. Well, how many? It's specific, you see. That's the point, David. Oh, well, like, yeah, more than 12, between 12 and 18. Well, she doesn't have 12 to 14. So what comes after 12 to 14? Yeah. 15, 16. And what comes after 15, 16? Yeah, That's two no trump. And what comes after 18? 19. Well, that's three no trump. So the rebid of no trump, undo for a second, please, Katie. The rebid of no trump at the different levels redescribes the type of balanced hand you have. If Katie opens the bidding with one no trump, we know she has 12 to 14 and balanced. If Katie rebids the bidding of one no trump, having opened a suit as she did and getting a response from her partner as she did, she then rebids one no trump to show 15 or 16, two no trump shows 17 or 18, and three no trump shows 19. And all of them show a balanced hand. Now that's a principle with which you need to learn, and it's called the balanced hand ladder. Whenever you have a balanced hand, you begin by opening one no trump at the lowest step on the ladder. You begin by reversing or rebidding into no trump, having opened a suit and heard a response. And the different levels of the rebids show the different number of points. And the final pieces of the balanced hand la ladder come with opening at higher level. And we're not going to discuss that at the minute. So Katie, reverse into one no trump again, just to reinforce why it shows 15 or 16 in a balanced hand. Now, Tim, you still don't want to play in one no trump, do you? 
No. Because what sort of hand have you got? Unbalanced. So it's, you still don't want to play in no Trump. So what can you do to not play in no Trump? And you know your partner has a balanced hand. What can you offer your partner as a choice of Trumps? Um, well, the, the most I have is hearts. So what can you do to say you have more than four of them? Um, go to no hearts. Go to hearts, yeah. Yeah, two hearts, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. And that says to Katie, I hear that you've got 15 or 16 points, but I don't want to play in no Trump. And I think my suit is better to play as Trump's. So what should Katie do now? Anybody can answer that. Uh, yeah, well done, Dave. And I don't mind if Raymond or if David or Tim wants to help Katie, if they understand. And if they answer, if they answer the question, I might sometimes say, why? Just throw that in there. So Katie, the reason why you pass, and I'll explain it, is that when you've shown your partner what you have, you've told them that you have a balanced hand and 15 and 16 points. Did they jump the bidding, Katie? Uh, Did they go to a higher level than was absolutely necessary? No. So they kept the bidding as low as possible. So they're saying to you, Katie, get out of here. I don't want you to go any higher. Yeah. And that's and, and where does Tim play? What's the contract, everybody? Right. How many tricks does he have to make? Eight. Eight. Who makes the opening lead? Right. Because he's yellow, isn't he? Yeah. And who's the dummy? Who doesn't play the hand? Okay, then. Katie, Tim must play the hand. And how do we get the ball rolling? Rail, let's card. Well done. Go ahead, Raymond. Now, Tim, what happened as soon as the lead was made at your table? I see the two hands. And you have to play both of those hands. So, just for a second, Tim, can you sit out of your seat? And I'm going to show this for the video demonstration. Click on your own name, please. And I'm just going to show for the... So after the lead has been made is when the dummy hand goes down and the clearer gets to choose what card they want to play. Hold on. They can play any of the cards on the dummy. They get to choose what to do. And after they choose what to play, then the next hand plays, and then they play a card from their own hand, thereby getting a choice of what to do. Okay, so what I'm going to now do is, I'm gonna leave my seat, let Tim back in, I'm going to mute myself and yourselves and we're going to let you just play the hand out and it doesn't matter what you do folks just play the hand out until we get a result Tim can you sit back in at that seat please are you a perfect Tim lovely now I'm just going to show all the hands to the kibitzers and to myself and now we're back looking down at the top of the table so I'm just going to mute myself. Just play this hand out until you reach a conclusion as you make a number of tricks and see what happens. See you in a couple of seconds, okay? Ten. Yeah.
Now, things seem to be going quite well, Tim, don't they? Yeah. That's the power of Trumps. Now, what you play now, Raymond, could make a difference. On this, it doesn't matter. So play away. Nicely done, Dave. The power of Trump applies to both sides, not just the, pair, the partnership which picks Trumps. Uh -huh. Okay, so because you made your contract with extra tricks, Tim, you scored 170 points. That score, by the way, is made up of two tricks with which you get 30 points, plus a bonus of 50 for making your contract, which is 110, plus 30 points for every extra trick. You made two plus two, which gives you a grand total of 170 points. If Tim makes it, north, south, go minus. Okay, let's just do another board. We're just going to do this for an hour. And what I want you to do, by the way, you should be at the stage now where you should be trying to get a session of bridge again amongst yourselves during the week. Log on. And just have a go at bidding, and it doesn't matter. Can somebody might mute, mute their microphone, please? Uh, log on and just play. Just sit, get four of you to sit at a table like I did. Deal the cards and play. And you know, don't worry about what happens. Just bid and play and see what score you get. And that's all I want you to be able to do. You should be able to arrange at least four of you once between now and next Saturday, next Sunday. There's six of you. Okay. Jason's on the way. I think he might have the videos done for you from last week. Okay.
Let's have a go. Tim's the dealer this time. I don't remember all the rules, but anyway. What do you think you should do, Tim? One no trump. No. Because you don't have a balanced hand, Tim, have you? No. When you can't bid no trump, if you, I'm not saying you won't end up in no trump. But you can't mm. bid no trump unless you have a balanced hand. Now, if you don't have a balanced hand, what do you do? Pass. No. Because you have an opening bid. If you have an opening bid, you must open the bidding. Remember what happened to Katie on the first board. When you watch back that when you watch back that video, you'll see that Katie had 19 points. You don't pass if you have 12 points or more. You must open. So you can't open no Trump, Tim, and you must open. So what do you think you do? One spade. Go ahead. So you were right. You knew all along. Now, oh, no, no, Katie, you must respond. You must respond if you have six points or more. Very good. Now that would ordinarily show five, but because we haven't told Katie that that would show five, that's acceptable for the moment. Very well done. Now again, do you like hearts, Tim? Um, well, I've only got two. So that's a no. So yeah. what, what can you show to your partner now? Well, I can either go one no trump or go no. two spades. You can't go no trump. What sort of hand have you, Tim? Oh, unbalanced, yeah. When you're oh. unbalanced, you can't open or rebid no trump at your second turn. So you're mm -hmm. right about two spades. Right. But what else could you do? You don't necessarily have to bid spades. What other suit could you have? Could you bid? Diamonds. So by bidding diamonds... What what are you showing your partner, do we think? Raymond or Dave? That's the second most biggest bet. Very see. good, yeah. So bid diamonds for a second, Tim. Now, if you do bid diamonds, what level have you to bid them at? Three. Because hearts is higher than... Diamond. And to do that, you would need to have as strong a hand as you have, Tim. So let's do it for a second. Do what? Bid diamonds. Yeah, this um, thing here isn't allowing me to bid one anyway. But then don't bid one. What do you have to bid? What's it allowing you to bid? Two upwards. Well, then can you bid two diamonds? Yeah. No, no. you can't. Then you have to bid what? Two spades. No. If you can't bid two diamonds, what, what level can you go to? It's only allowing me spades or no trump. That's because you've bid the two level. Is there another level other than two, Tim? Three. Well, how about you press three and have a look at what comes up? Oh, they're all there, yeah. Because that's why using the computer enables you to know what level you can bid at. If you think I want to bid one diamond and you can't find it, what does it mean? You're not allowed. It's illegal. It's insufficient. 
Yeah. So if you want to bid diamonds, what level do you have to bid your diamonds at? Three. Go ahead. Now, at this point, we know that East has five spades and four diamonds. Katie, how many spades have you got? Three. And how many diamonds have you got? Three. So, which do you prefer between spades and diamonds? Uh... I... Well, which is your best? Which is your biggest? How many has Tim got in spades? Uh, six. Well, yeah, you know that, but he only told you he has five. So what's five and three? Eight. What's four and three? Seven. Which do you prefer? Spades. So what do you bid over diamonds? Spade. Go ahead. Brilliantly done. And then Katie can Katie couldn't bid two spades either. What was the low, lowest level you could bid spades, Katie? Three. Very good. Now, Tim, where do you think you bid now? Have you found a fit? Yeah. Tim. Yeah. So, and how many points do you have between you? Do you know or can you tell? How many high many? card? How many good cards have you got between you? Is there any way of knowing how many good cards you have between you? There is, isn't there? Yeah. The bidding. What level did your partner respond to you at, Tim? Three. No. Her initial response. What did two. you open the bid to? Yeah. So if she responds to you at the two level, she's promising you 10 points. And when you've got 15, you know that between you, you have enough points to go to what we call game. Now, do you remember the last hand when you achieved 170 points, Katie and Tim? Yeah. Well, now you're going to see that by bidding to a higher level, you may achieve greater points. So, bid four spades for me, Tim, please. And then pass, pass, pass. And what I want us to do is, I want, Tim, you've already played, haven't you? Yeah. So I want you to sit out of your seat, please, Tim. And I want uh, Dave to sit across in the east seat, please. Give Dave a chance. Mm. And Tim, you sit in the north seat, please. Lovely. Now again, who's on lead, Raymond? <coughs> Ert calling Raymond. Nobody show. Uh, hell yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. Any, any chance you might be able to make the opening lead? Yeah. And can you? Okay, good lead, Ray. Very well done. Now, David, you have to try to achieve 10 tricks. And again, all I want us to do for tonight is to give David the opportunity to achieve 10 tricks. Go ahead.
I've just been logged out. We'll get you back in a second. Let me just reserve the seat for you. Crofty, what, Tim? 20. There you go. Now, what might be a good thing to do now, Dave? Um, I think I'll start playing some spades. Why? Uh, to flesh out that queen. Very good. Ah, fuck. Can I undo that? No, come here. Would you mind not swearing sorry, like sorry, that? Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Can I undo that, <laughs> Yeah, we've just, we just ruined 45 minutes of... <laughs> I'll show you how to chop and change. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, priceless, lads. Priceless. <laughs> uh, that is how we all feel, Dave. But remember, I'm trying to. Re I have to put an 18 plus on this now. <laughs> I'll figure out how to mute it. <laughs> That's why the computer is so good. That doesn't happen at the real table. <laughs> it does. <laughs> What happens if you play the last one of them, Dave? Sorry? What happens if you play the last spade? Uh, oh, I have big contracts? No, you lose or control. Winner. You Sorry. lose control. You always make the contract, but you lose control. If I play the spade now, I'll, I'll, still, no, I'll be still playing the next card though, no? Yeah, but you won't win the next card, will you? Right. Like, let's show you what happens if you play a spade, okay? I'm okay now, here. I, just, okay, no, 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 listen, listen, listen just listen, there. stop arguing. Listen, I'm going to show you and we're going to undo back and show you the difference, right? Yeah. If you play a spade now, do that for me. Raymond, play the ten of clubs. As soon as you play a diamond, which I don't want you to do, by the way, but as soon as you play the diamond, Raymond will win with the king, and then he will win his queen of clubs. Okay. okay? Because you've just lost control by playing the last trump. Yeah. Now undo, undo that card, please. And the next one. and play a diamond rather than playing the spade. Yeah. Now this is fortuitous. Now the ace, king and queen of diamonds are gone. What does that make the jack? Winner. Go ahead. But now suddenly you haven't lost control, have you? Well, I should get now back you, in a sec, yeah. You, what do you have in your hand to get back control, David? The, the trump. 
Okay, that's the power of Trumps, everybody. Yeah. And now what can you play to win an extra trick? Rub yeah. salt into the wounds. Now look at the difference between the score Tim got on the first board for making 10 tricks without bidding game and that David and Katie got for making 11 tricks bidding game. One score was 170. What was the next score? Well, that's why you bid to a high level, but only if you have enough points to, 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 to give yourself a chance of making it. And that's what bridge is about. Exchanging information to find out what you have between you and your partner's hand to try to work out what the best contract is. And what are the opponents trying to do? Stop you either by bidding when they can or by playing their cards in a particular way to get extra tricks to put you down but so far nobody was able to no no contract was able to fail okay let's go on to another hand now i might skip this one depending on what i see because i want to make sure everybody gets a chance to play Yeah, we give this one a little bash. See what happens. Very good. It's nice, Katie, when you don't have near 12, isn't it? Yeah. Easy pass. <laughs> Tim, now just before you bid Dave for a second, Tim, are you happy with that pass? Or did you think maybe I should do something? Um, well, there's only 12 points there. But 12 is an opening bid, isn't it? It is, yeah. And if you I, don't... I'd, I'd, um, is there any way you can write down these must-dos and opening bids and all they're, that? They're in the notes. Did you get the notes? I did, but I didn't see a list of must do. Well, no, read them, read them, read them. They explain what an opening bid is, and I'm going to be sending you more notes again on uh, what an open. Do you have yeah. to read them? Yeah, you do have to read them. Otherwise, how do you know what the bid is like? I'm only it's not joking. obligatory. It's not obligatory, but it helps. I'm only, to. I'm only I know. So am I. So am I. <laughs> okay, let's undo that bid and let's make Tim an opening bid. David, would you open the bidding? Sorry? If you have the chance now, would yeah, I was you gonna ask because like I don't have enough points, but I'm obviously very strong in one suit, so I was but, but, uh, so but but do you have nearly enough points? Yeah. So the strength, if we if 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 for the class who are looking down for at 52, if we look at the north hand, Tim doesn't have 12 points, but he has six good diamonds. And he has nearly 12 points. David doesn't have 12 points, but he has seven good hearts and he has nearly 12 points. Both of those constitute an opening bid, even though they don't have 12 high card points because of the length of the suit. Okay. Good hand. Good hand. Right bit, then, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna we're just gonna continue on bidding. Now, what do you think you should do, Raymond? I was thinking of uh, uh, one spade. Magic. Absolutely brilliant. Because my hand is unbalanced. And, and you've got... Points. And you've got... 14 points. What else? Oh, I have a, lot, a rake of spades. A shed load of spades. Yeah. Katie's so happy to have to pass every time. <laughs> and, and, and she doesn't have to make a decision. <laughs> Katie, tell him to leave you alone. <laughs> I mean, it's true. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, that's, so there's no defense to truth. <laughs> Tim, what do you think you should do now? Well, 
I read I run unbalanced hand, but there's uh, a lot of diamonds there. So how can you tell him that? Bid one diamond. Well, try to bid one diamond. Does it work? Has to no. be two, does it? Exactly. If one diamond doesn't work, you go to the second level. Go ahead, Raymond. Brilliant. Nicely done. Now, what do we think we should lead, Katie? Or was there a clue? Do I go with? Hmm. Now you have to make it. <laughs> what were you going to say? I was going to say, do I go with what my partner was? Yeah, doing? yeah, absolutely brilliant, absolutely perfect. Why do you go with what your partner did? Because they clearly like that suit. Well, exactly. It gives them a warm, fuzzy feeling inside to know you listen. <laughs> what did Dave open? Hearts. So he wants you, he did it for a reason. And even if it's wrong, the fact that he bid hearts means if you lead it, well, we, nothing, there'll be no consequence because what have you done? You've led the suit with which he's bid. Yeah. So if you don't know what to do, maybe the bidding can help you. Everyone happy with that? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. That's okay, Dave. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that was the best thing to do because it doesn't give him anything with, with which he's not entitled, does it? Yeah, I, yeah. But like, but you should have known it was going to happen. I know. As soon as I played it, I did. I realized. That yeah, was I know that because we could hear we could hear the groan in your voice. Yeah, more polite one this time. Yeah. By the way, in real in real life, you 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 your body physically gives those inferences. Mm. They're tells, they're tells. You have tells in poker and you have tells in bridge. In real life, you might not have said that, but your shoulders would have gone down probably. Yeah. Look at him now. Look at him. I like your style, right? Come out. Yeah, draw the trumps. Now, Katie, you could have won with a cheaper card. Yeah. Why flash out that queen when you could win with the 10? Mm. We're in a depression, aren't we? Keep <laughs> it low. We're going to leave it as it is, okay? Because it doesn't matter on the hand. Yeah. It doesn't make a difference. So we just continue on because I want to try to get a, another hand in to give uh, Katie a chance to play because that will normally take about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> 13 tricks means 13 decisions. Each one of them could be four minutes long. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Katie. Uh, it doesn't matter, remember. <clears throat> I 
Now that wasn't right, Raymond. Yeah, surprise. What was I expecting? Oh, Raymond? I, yeah, I know, because I, I, I could have I know I'm definitely gonna win on the king. Well you got but what what else have you got on the table? What are you looking at in diamonds? What have you got on the table in diamonds? Yeah, well I, I had to play. Uh, no, no, shh. I have two I have two diamonds. In your hand, and what have you got opposite you? Yeah, a load of diamonds. What call them out for me, please? Ace, King, Jack, and five and three. Ace, King, Queen, Jack. Oh, sorry, Ace, King, three. Queen, Jack. Yeah. So you've every diamond under the sun. Now look what happens when you play small. Katie, what are you going to play? Oh, I know where you're going with this. Yeah. Look, look go yeah. ahead, Katie. Yeah. yeah. Well, now you've lost a trick that you didn't need to lose. I could have won with the king. And how would you have got rid of that ace? How would you have got rid of it? Well, that, ace, that ace is a loser. It's not a winner. How do you get rid of it? Well, I, could, I would have just had it at the end. <laughs> no. What have you got in the dummy in diamonds? Ace, king, queen, jack. How many winners is that? Yeah, I know. I know let me, I, let me I know show what you me. mean. So basically, so I should have played the king. Should let me I? show you. Yes. Let me show you. Undo and play the king. Now, does everybody understand why Raymond is losing that trick, first of all? Is that yes or no? Yeah. Right. Let's undo, please, Raymond, and win with the king of clubs. <clears throat> and we're going to show Raymond how he doesn't lose. John, will you mute your microphone for me? Please. Um, I can't. Um, I can't. I don't. You can blue any... button. There you go. Thanks. Now blue button at the top. Oh yeah, yeah. So you have it. Now play the king, please. And play these cards as I call them out. And you're now not going to lose that eight of clubs, which which is the trick you lost. Go ahead. I know, I know. Yeah, I can see now. Yeah. No, 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 no. Just listen and make sure you play the cards in the correct order. Play the three. Now play the king of spades. That's drawing the remaining trump in Katie's hand. Throw anything you like other than a dime. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Will I undo that? Well, you'll have to, yeah. Now play the Ten of Diamonds. And now play a little diamond. And now play the queen, king, or ace of diamonds and throw away the little club, thereby not losing it. I see what you mean, yeah. Now that's called discarding, throwing away. When you can't follow suit, if one hand has extra winners, you can throw away losers. And in fact, even if Raymond didn't have the ace of clubs, he could throw away another club on the king of diamonds and another loser on the ace of diamonds. And if he had another loser on the five of diamonds, he's now playing winners upon winners, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's got four winners in his own hand and four winners on the table, three winners on the table. So just claim the rest of the tricks, Raymond. Yeah, I think Katie has to go there. No, you can claim the rest of the tricks, look. Oh, right, okay. And how, oh, because everybody just... Press yes, everybody. How many tricks? Ten. It says uh, it only goes up to five. Plus two, plus two. Five is right. Five, just claim five. Yeah, come on, you've already got five, right? There you go. See that? Now, again, you got 10 tricks. 
it, the five you were claiming, Raymond, were the five that was left. You had, they had already cr credited you with five. Do you see the screen on the left? Five opposite three. Yeah. Now, if, if there was just, no option. Just, just hold on for a second. Five and three. And how many did you claim? Five. So what's five and five? Yeah, ten. And what in the middle of the board does it say you have? Ten tricks. All right. Mm -hmm. I just want to show you what happens when everything happens. Now we're going to do one more hand and we're going to see if we can get Katie to magically be declared. Katie, you haven't played a hand, have you? No. Okay, well, let's have a look at this. No, no, that doesn't work. Doesn't work either. I just had them counted and you disappear. Just wait until. <laughs> Very easy when you said no, you haven't played a hand. It sounded like no, and I don't want to. <laughs> well, she has to. <laughs> okay, we'll have a go at this and then we'll swap Dave and Katie over after the bidding is finished. Okay, let's have a go at the bidding and see what happens. No, Katie, you never open at the two level unless you're uh, two no trump, unless you're very strong. How many points have you got? Uh, 16 or 17, I think. 17. It's not yeah. 16 or it's either one or the other. We're quite specific. Yeah, I... So 17. When we have 12 to 19, what do we open? What level do we open at? One. So why didn't you open one no trump? Because that was right. Because you had too many. Yes, yeah, kind of. No, that's too. What does one no trump show everybody? The balance, man. Huh? Balance. And, and how many points? Twelve to nineteen. Twelve to fourteen. Oh, sorry, fourteen. Yeah. So can you do that, Kate? No. So if you can't open one no trump and you can't open uh, two no trump, well there and you have to open. What do you open with? Think of the um, last hand, Katie. Think of the last hand where you couldn't open one no trump. What did you do? A suit. So what suit do you think you should open? The longest one. Very good. Sorry, Thomas, if uh, Melissa wants to come in at any stage, I don't mind observing if she wants to take my seat. Yeah. What does the double, the DBN in red, mean? Uh, it's a way of communicating information. But for the moment, what does it mean to us, Tim? Nothing. Because I haven't told you what information it communicates. Okay. <laughs> that double will be like the red button to Dougal on Father Ted to you guys now. <laughs> okay. You don't do it. Okay. Are they my feet? <clears throat> um. So you don't, very good, yeah. Excellently done, David. Now, Katie, before you bid, what sort of hand have you got? Balance. So you must rebid no trump. But now you have to re-quantify your hand. Now, we know you don't have 12 to 14. So we know you either have 15 or 16, 17 or 18 or 19. And the number of points you have dictates the level with which you re no, rebid no trump. With 15 or 16, you rebid one no trump. With 17 or 18, you rebid two no trump. And with 19, you rebid three no trump. And they all show balanced hands.
Very good, Katie. Very good. Oh no, sugar. Should I have done space there? Very good, David. Well done. And I like the fact you said sugar. <laughs> so can we undo? Yeah, ask for an undo and then they'll give it to you. Well done. So David, David knew, his, and that's what happens a lot of the time. But you know sometimes when you put the beater and put the card on the table that it was the wrong thing to do. And David said it himself, should he have shown his second suit? So how many hearts does David have, Katie? Um, four. At least. But what suit yeah. did he bid the second time? Spades. So he has four spades and he must have five hearts. If you bid two suits, you always have five of the first suit and four of the second suit. So how many hearts have you got, Katie? Three. Five and three is? Eight. Woo, 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 woo. What do we call that? A trump fit. Right. So what do you do over three spades, Katie? Three hearts. Try and bid three hearts for me. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't bid three hearts. Yes. So what do you bid then? These young Four are so hearts? they're so they're so sharp. These young ones, I tell you, they're so <laughs> sharp because you didn't even have to look. She knew. Four hearts is absolutely correct. Go ahead. Pass. 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 Okay. Now we want David and Katie to swap seats, please. So we give Katie a chance to play. Now again, we notice that Katie's at a higher level, isn't she? Mm. The higher the level, the more the risk, but the higher the reward. The higher you go, the more, the bigger the score you achieve, the greater the risk. How many can you afford to lose, Katie? Um, not sure. Well, what's the contract? Four hearts. So what do we add on to the contract to tell us how many that we have to make? Anybody? Six. six. So what's four and six? Ten. Ten. And how many tricks are there in total? Thirteen. So how many can we afford to lose, everybody? Three. 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 Well done. And I'm going to give you a little help, Kate. If you play your cards right, you can make 12. Wasn't really help because now you have to make two more. <laughs> I'm probably not going to play my cards right, but... Well, you might. Don't be, be optimistic. Be optimistic. Don't say you won't play them right. Like, be optimistic. Yeah, be optimistic. Yeah. Okay, who's on lead? Oh, yeah. You must be getting a good, a good at this leading, Raymond. You've done nothing but lead all night. I know, it's great, Craig. Here's some Bruce Forsyth. Will you stay quiet? Who's that? I wonder. The bearded wonder. Yeah. <laughs> they are cars right, Katie. Now, before you play that, Katie, what's the contract? Ten. Ten, but what's the... Ten of four what? Hearts. 
Four hearts. So what's the contract? What's the denomination? Hearts. So if you play that and they play a heart, what will happen? He'll trump it and I'll lose the trick. So why do we, what should we do if we've no other reason to? What should we do? What did Dave say? Draw that. Uh, Draw that. Trump. Not the other trump says. So you don't you don't want to give them you don't want to give them heart tricks do you no so and why don't you want to give them hearts because what do you have between you and the dummy in heart eight and what are they call them out to me ace jack seven six four queen king ten so you have the ace the king the queen the jack and the ten yeah. Well, it would seem to me it's kind of counterintuitive to want to give them a little heart, wouldn't it? Yeah. So to draw trumps or not to draw trumps, that is the question. <laughs> you have to decide that at the start of the hand. Yeah. And if you've got ace, king, queen, jack of trumps, well, I think we should do what? Take the kids off the street. Draw the trumps. So undo that and draw the trumps. Now, that wasn't a bad thing to do necessarily. You're going to do that as soon as you take the kids or draw the trumps. Go ahead. Now, what's going to happen when you play that card, Katie? This control. No. What does she play underneath it? She's going to have to take the 10. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's a waste, isn't it? Yeah. So let's undo. <laughs> now that's a common mistake. It's common to think, oh, look at your own hand. No, that's perfect. Oh, look at my own hand. The ace is good, but the 10 is the equivalent of the ace, isn't it? Yeah. Because you have everything in between. So whenever you have a long suit opposite a short suit, you begin by playing either the low card from the long suit or the good card from the short suit, depending on which hand you're in. Are you in the long or the short suit? The long. So play low from long to high from short. And look at what happens. It frees up the value of the good card, doesn't it? And that's why I don't mind, if you make a decision, we get more boards played quickly. And everybody has made mistakes, even me for recording this class. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get any material out of this. I'll fix it, <laughs> I'll fix it, don't worry. I'll watch no, it back I don't, By the worry. way, I don't mean you, Dave. I'm <laughs> talking about everybody. You leave me alone. Wait, but then I'm confused because I, I have to play the, if I play the Ten of Hearts now, yes, yeah. don't I have to use the Ace or the Jack to no. stay in that hand? No. No, look, go on. You have a choice of what you can do. Play the yeah, Ten. But then I, play the bend, Ten. Just look, it. play the Ten. You have a choice. You can play the Jack, the Ace, or the Seven. You have a choice. You can do whatever you want. Now, where but do you I want... Play, yeah, go on. If I play the seven, you win on the table, and then I can't get. You oh can. no, I can't because they're can. the yeah, 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 that was. <laughs> That's okay. The penny drop. <laughs> go ahead, Tim. Well done. Following the principle of the high card from the short suit and the low card from the long suit. But you won in the short suit, therefore you played the highest card. And this, in, in effect, frees up the long suit to become another winner. Stops the suit from being blocked. Go ahead. And as you play it, what, what might the opponents have to play? Other cards in other suits. Thomas, in that instance there, would you be better playing the six? 
didn't matter. Yeah. Right. It doesn't matter. It makes no difference. She has everything in between. So she can play the six to the 10. She can play the jack to the six. She can play the jack to the 10, the jack to the king. It makes no difference. But it's not by, by, having the, by having the six, it makes the five as, as strong as the six. No, it doesn't. The six no, is but going to be. the trick with the 10, don't it? No, she can't. It doesn't matter, Dave. Okay. She had to put one gar good card under one good card because how long of a suit did she have? Four, didn't she? Well, if she's four and she has the ace, king, queen, jack, ten, she can't actually get five tricks because right. how long is her suit? The only way you can get extra tricks in a suit is by nominating that suit as trumps. Now, right. spades aren't trumps, are they? Yeah, okay. So how many spades did she have in her hand? Ace King ten nine, wasn't it? Ten six. Well eight, sorry, Ace King ten six. So even though she had the ace, the king, the queen, the jack, and the ten, at some point one of those good cards must crash underneath it, like. Okay. She well, Thomas, I, I just meant about the six and the five. Like by playing the five, you know that. The only thing that's going to beat the six is a seven, and you know because you have the six that the only thing that's going to beat the five is a seven. So yeah. it doesn't really matter which way you play the five or the six. No, not you. Yes. Oh, not me. I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It does, you're right. It doesn't I'm matter. About David's what, hand. It doesn't matter. You're right. Yes. It doesn't matter. Go ahead, Tim. Now, this is the benefit, Katie, of drawing trumps. Had you not drawn trumps, Tim would have been able to put a trump on that and he would have won the trick. But because yeah. you've taken away all of their little trumps, which are of no consequence to you, they can't trump you. And that's the benefit of drawing trumps. Now, continue playing the way you're playing because you're going beautifully. And again, as you play these cards, Tim's going to have to play another discard. Go ahead, Katie, come on. <coughs> now again, Katie. Yeah. Why are you winning with the king when you can win with the jack? On this hand, it doesn't matter, by the way. But what is the lower value card to win with? Jack. So why are we winning with the king? <laughs> it doesn't matter on the hand, because when you leave yeah, the jack, but... what are you going to play? But on a, it's a principle that I'm trying to get you to see. Yeah. yeah? Okay. On the hand, it makes no difference because whatever you play from the dummy, you're going to be able to trump with. But on another hand, you might not have been able to do that. Therefore, winning with the cheaper value card is what we should try to do. Play the last two tricks and look at what score you achieve. <coughs> What score did you get there, Katie? 12. 
12 tricks, but what was the, your score? Uh, four, 480. What? That's some score, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, imagine, and you want to know what you would get had you, had you bid to make 12 tricks. You would have got 980. So the, the score, go ahead. Could we have gotten a con like you know it would have, we could have figured that out that contract could we like five? Whatever. You might have, you might have. It's a hand where 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 experts might get to slam, and it's on a guess, by the way. Yeah. I'm going to ask you all that there was a mistake made on the play of this hand, and I want you, but between now and next week, only board eight. So you have to analyze what could have happened on board eight to change the outcome, and I'm going to ask everybody next week the answer to that question. And that means you just have to watch the video. So something happened on board eight where Katie wouldn't have made 12 tricks. So I want to see, I want you to see whether you can recognize what happened and have a look at it and see. And I'll tell you next week, okay? So what I'm just going to do to finish off is I'm going to show you the next set of notes. And again, read them and try to understand them but playing is more important can you see the notes on the zoom screen can anybody tell me you can see your email yeah well that's that's the notes that's perfect thank you so i'm just going to flick on to beginners tree uh, over i didn't want to do that but tom this is not going to be on uh, bbo is it so i can just i can put because i'm just having problems with the screen i'll just make yeah no 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 make this the screen now we're, we're finished bbo just for right. 10 or 15 minutes. Right. Okay, so, so Tim was asking about stuff, requirements. If we look on the screen, I'll send this to you now. When we finish off recording, I'll get all your email addresses and I'll send these 10 notes to you. So it tells you, what's the requirement of an opening bid at the one level? It explains it. What's the requirements of an opening bid of one note Trump? It explains it. What do we do with responder? And look at the box. The partner who knows there are enough points for game between the hands is responsible for bidding game. 25 is what you need to bid game. Now it tells you what to do with a balanced hand. It tells you each of the ranges of points what to do. You need to have a look at it. And then it tells you what to do with an unbalanced hand. And then we start talking about questions. Clubs, look at that. Clubs is different to any other bid. And it tells you what to do at each of the level. And it tells you, what do you do if you have the bidding staircase? If we bid a grand slam, what do we collect? An enormous bonus. It's huge. Like if you bid and make a vulnerable grand slam, you will achieve 2,000 points. You get 1,500 extra bonus for bidding and making all 13 tricks. 1,500. Imagine you played for money, rubber bridge, a pound a point. Well, if you bid and made a grand slam on the first board, you were up 2,200 and whatever it is, or 2,100, whatever it is. Okay, so the, these are all the bonuses, the scores with which you achieve. This is what happens after the contract is finished. Have a read of it and try to do the quizzes and we'll have a look at it. We don't do those hands, we use our own hands. Okay, and then just to, I've, I've given you one and two, okay? You've got them already. I'm going to, three and four are what you want to have a look at for next week. Sorry, three and five, I apologize. I can't do that. Okay. Don't know what that's looking. I've paused. Why is it paused? Hold on. Okay. So if we look at lesson five, one level opening bid, it talks about opening the bidding with a suit. It talks about rebidding. We spoke about that today, didn't we? Mm. Yeah? yeah. It talks about the shape. It talks about the length of the suits. And it also talks about uh, opening with unbalanced hands. We had all of those situations. We had we we talk, it talks about responding. 
Now you need to read all of these notes, lads. You need to go through them. And, when, and, and what I'm trying to do by each week is give you a tutorial in effect. And as you gain more knowledge and more understanding, you need to put more time into it. You need to commit at least one other night a week to trying to get on, Not maybe not this week, but in the next three or four weeks, to getting on and trying to put into practice without, without using Zoom and without having me around. And it doesn't matter what happens. There's no repercussions. You're not playing for money. So just get on and see what happens. See what score you achieve. If a board occurs that you don't know what to do, well, take a screenshot of it and then send it to me and we'll have a look. Shortage. If you have a fit, we'll be talking about that next week. We'll be talking about Trump fits next week. All right, so I'm just going to stop that share for a second. Stop the recording.